All right, welcome back to another episode of the Shotcut Masterclass. Not even just another old episode. This is the final episode of the Shotcut Masterclass. If you're interested in checking out the full free masterclass, it is linked down below in the description. Uh, you know, or you might even be on the playlist right now. It is a full six six episode playlist uh, walking through everything there is to know about Shotcut, the amazing beginner video editing software familiarizing yourself with it. So many people on my channel use Shotcut, so I decided I was going to make a full-blown masterclass. And, uh, you know, keep an eye out for the HitFilm and the DaVinci Resolve masterclass as well, because those are coming. But we're at the end of our series right now. How would we actually go about exporting? So if we got this, this uh, you know, um, clip right here, it's me actually um, climbing uh, the stairs right here. And then it's um, supposed to be me in this clip right here climbing up the wall, but it looks like that's a, a miscut. Um, I'm just going to drag that over a little bit, delete that, drag that over here. Sorry about this. This is a little bit unprofessional. I should have uh, should have prepared this before, but trust me, you'll, you'll understand what I'm doing. Hold tight. So I'm just going to where I actually go to climb the wall, drag this over. It's my friend trying to climb the wall first. Um, he wasn't doing too good at it. It's all good yarn. <laughs> That's what his name is. See, there you go. Nice first try climbing the wall. Pretty easy. I'm not a very athletic dude either. So, you know, give my props in the comment section for that easy wall climb. And now I'm going to drag this clip over here. So say we've actually got a full sequence. All right. So if we have actually got a sequence prepared, this is it right here. Three clips, not the biggest sequence. I assume you'd probably have a bigger project. But if we did want to actually, uh, you know, export it, very, very simple. We go up here to export. And, uh, you know, I just want to run you guys through the different versions of the presets, okay? Because the presets are super important. And, uh, you know, you might get a little bit confused because there's honestly just too much to, to kind of choose from right here, if you will. All right. Now... Uh, there is a few different options. So first off, you could actually just export the audio, right? So the audio um, would just be the audio track that goes on behind this. And uh, if you are, are actually going to be exporting some audio, I would suggest to you guys to export in WAV. It is going to be the highest quality. Next up, if you were to actually export um, a actual single image, so just a screenshot, if you wanted to just go in for a little screenshot, I suggest you guys export in P and G in terms of the actual still images. Uh, that would 100% be the, uh, the number one suggestion in terms of an actual still image. And then obviously, if you're actually going up here, um, the number one actual just standard, um, all, all kind of aspects uh, preset to actually export with is going to be the H.264 high profile or down here with the legacy, the lossless H.264. H.264 is MP4. If we go with a H.264 high profile up here on the stock and we actually go ahead and, uh, you know, go ahead and just press export file, we can actually select where we want to export it to. I can go to my PC, go here, go to my record drive, go to, uh, go, go to, go to this, this footage folder and just go ahead and type in, uh, you know, sample. I'm just going to call it sample. And uh, just like that, as soon as we actually save the location of where it's going to go to, assuming we've, uh, you know, customized all of our um, data and uh, information about it right here, which, you know, 4K, that sound, aspect ratio, you know, 16 by 9, that's all standard 24 frames. As soon as we click uh, the location and actually establish a location, it is going to start exporting just like that. We can actually go over here, and if you want to make this uh, bigger, you could actually use your regular cursor, which looks like this, and go over these little uh, dots here. And, uh, you know, drag that out a little bit, but, um, okay, drag that out just a little bit, just so we can see this a little bit more. And as you can see, it's 94% right now, saying that we've got one second elapsed. And just like that, it has exported to our Clipper folder, which we can actually go ahead and just open. And, uh, you know, we're going to be dealing with a sample, which is this sample right here. Very, very simple. And, uh, you know, it's looking nice and smooth because we've actually just exported with that H.264 high profile. Everything's looking really nice. It's got me climbing up onto the wall and, uh, you know, everything's looking spick and span. Everything is looking nice. So if you go ahead and just use those export presets, you guys are going to be on your way to, uh, you know, having your projects be nice, smooth. And uh, there is some export problems some people have where they export and their projects are laggy and things like that. Honestly, that can happen if you're not using the right presets. And that is really the case here. Uh, even in an advanced video editor like Premiere Pro, you're using presets. So it's no different over here in um, Shotcut. You're going to be using presets as well. And I would suggest you guys too use the H.264 high profile. Or if you want to be lossless, go ahead and use your H.264 lossless down here, which is MP4. Stills, I'm suggesting you guys do PNGs. That's the highest quality. And for your audio, I'm suggesting you do WAV, which is again, highest quality. 
That right there is the Shot Cut Masterclass. Six episodes breaking out everything there is to know about Shot Cut, the best uh, or one of the best beginner video editing software out there. Thank you guys for watching the video. I've been Jack Chris Jack Cole. For more video production content, whether it be video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos, subscribe to my channel. And uh, by all means, if you have not watched the whole Shot Cut Masterclass and you made it to this point of the video, the full, sh uh, the, yeah, yeah, the full class is linked down below in the description. The full playlist, six episodes breaking down everything you need to know about Shot Cut. Thank you for watching this. Thank you for reaching the end of the series. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.